Hey everyone, welcome to Echo Calypso. So let's go over all of the artifacts that we have, starting from the lowest um, tier, which is R. We only have three of them. As you notice, there are only a few. Let's start with this one. So, Lerahe Broken Bow. So, would I recommend this? This is going to be only 113 artifact damage to three random enemy targets. So no other effects. Definitely, as I mentioned before, I wouldn't recommend this. The next one would be Book of Dant Dantalion. So this one, this is quite a bit okay, but it deals 127% damage artifact damage to the front row enemies and there's a a 40 percent chance to inflict stun okay one thing that i note about the front row is they are they're kind of your toughest opponents so ideally if you want to deal damage using artifacts use um use the ones that are dealing in the back row or probably in a row in a two person row front and back um so this one I wouldn't really recommend this. You don't level this up. Although, once you're starting off, um, you might be able to use both of them. But eventually, you have to upgrade to SR. So, the only R that I am actually recommending is the Ank Glyph. This one is heal ally with lowest percentage of HP for 330 artifact attack. So, again, the higher you level this up, the higher the heal. This one is very crucial sometimes in terms of a battle in which you are, you know, you're nearing death or nearing <clears throat> your, one of your cases are nearing death. This artifact is actually a lifesaver. Use this up until the end. I guarantee you guys, you won't, you know, you won't really um, regret using Ank of Glyph. You have four um, slots for your for your artifacts. You only need one for healing. The rest would be for damage. Okay, so those are your R's, and only Ank Glyph is the one that I'm recommending that you use from them. For your SRs, we'll start with uh, Fetters of Fenrir. So this one is dealing 150 damage. So this is also the front row which I don't recommend you guys using. The front row is are tough. You need, you need artifacts dealing damage to the back row. So don't use this. I don't think this one... I think I've used it for a while, but eventually I upgraded to the other ones. Um, the other one is uh, Futsunomitama. It's a, it's a tongue twister, but it's also a samurai sword. This one, you may use this. I opted not to use this because uh, my artifacts are full right now. So it deals 150 artifact damage to the back row with a 40% chance to armor and resist resistance minus 20. So it lowers the resistance for armor and, and resistance for two rounds. This one is a good SR. You might use this as well. Um, so off to the other... SRs. I've been using three SRs so far. Let's start with uh, Levat Levatane. <laughs> I don't know if I'm um, mentioning it right, but this one is dealing 165 artifact damage to three random enemies, plus it has a 50% chance to inflict burn, which gives you additional damage once it inflicts a target. This is very good. You could use this in any team, not only for fire teams or burn teams. You could use this. It's a very good artifact to have. The next one, the next SR that I am highly encouraging is the Thy Tharsus. So this one, I want you to use this, guys, because it deals 157 artifact damage to the enemy back row. So this is what you look for in artifacts. The back row should be targeted because most squishy squishy cases are in the back row. And apply a shield that blocks damage up to 9% HP. So it has a defensive component to it. And the last SR is going to be your crown of Baal or Bell. 
So for this one, it's dealing 216 damage to artifact damage to one random row. So meaning one, I, uh, one of the three rows, front and back, and a 40% chance to inflict armor break on each target for two rounds. This one has the biggest damage of the three that I'm using. I'll go back to it. So again, just to recap, Ankle of Glyph, yes, you may use this one for... Futsu, Futsu no Mitama. Yes, you may use this one. This is a good one as well. This is back damage as well. As for all the other SS, uh, the, the other SRs, it's um, these three. Levatin, Tersus, and Crown of Baal, you may use these. You just have to swap them out, either of them, on who are you going to use. Okay, so as for your SSRs, we'll use with the Wheel of Sun Chariot. This one, I would highly recommend if you have a chance to get this. This one is very good because it is damaged to all enemies with a 40% chance to cause each target damage reduction minus 30%. So, so every, 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 um, what they call this, every enemy will have damage reduction. Damage reduction in terms of damage that they will be dealing to your team. So this is one of the best SSR artifacts that we have. Next on is Gandiva. So this one is also good because it inflicts damage in the back row with a 40% chance to burn on each target for two rounds. If they're ready, afflicted with burn, ignition will be triggered. This is also good because burn back row damage it's really really a good ssr artifact next is brionac so brionac is deals 180 damage to the back row as well so 40 percent chance to cause all targets unable to restore rage for one round so again as long as it's targeting the back row or if it's damaged to all or if it's a row random row then they're good this one is 180 damage to front row enemies this is good in a way because this is SSR. Um, this is a high damage and it inflicts armor break. So this is the only artifact that you will be picking for damage for the front row because it inflicts armor break on each of the two targets for two rounds. So this will help you soften up the front row targets. So in other words, my conclusion is any of the SSRs are good. You don't have to choose from them. You just have to choose from your SR, which, which is Futsu no Mitama, which is good. And um, these three are also good up here. And for your R's, only Ankh of Glyph is going to be useful. So that is it, guys. That is a quick roundup of all our artifacts. I assume that we will have more artifacts in the future. But for now, happy collecting and at this point, you know already what to choose from your artifacts. So thank you very much, guys, for staying this far. Take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.